They have Cypress, they're fresh, but they're also different and they're niche quality. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a double review on this Sandalwood and Cypress and this Green Lavender by the Art of Shaving. Now, The Art of Shaving has a store nearby at my mall. They have like five or six, maybe seven different kinds of colognes. Gone in there several times, you know, smelled a few out. I ended up picking up one several years ago I did a review on, and I think it was this Green Lavender Intense. Later on, I ended up going to a discount store, TJ Maxx, ended up finding this Sandalwood and Cypress. Of these fragrances, every time I've smelled them, I've really enjoyed them. They're very, very high quality. Both these are somewhat expensive compared to designers. They they go after these fresh, clean style smells. And to be honest, the juice almost comes off as niche quality juice. I absolutely love the quality of this juice. Sometimes I feel like it's unmatched by any other fragrance that I've smelled up to this point. I wrote up kind of like a mini review on each one and I'll kind of give my two cents in at the end. Green Lavender Cologne Intense. Now I want to say real quick, it says cologne. Just by my smelling, it does not smell like cologne. It does not smell like EDT. It smells closer to EDP. This stuff is very high quality, almost niche quality. The scents are kind of like designer scents, but the quality seems niche in my opinion. Let's jump into Green Lavender. Green Lavender's notes are lavender, not a surprise, mint, cypress, rosemary, bergamot, and moss. Not 100% a barbershop style fragrance, but it has a little bit of elements of a barbershop style vibe for sure. It has a lot of herbs in here, but it overall, because of that mint and other things, it comes off a little bit fresh with just enough strong spices in there. So it is strong and it is spicy. Overall, it's still fresh and clean, which I really, really appreciate. So let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. It's very unique and it has very high quality. Both these scents, in my opinion, kind of remind me of Abercrombie and Fitch style scents, but they're done with such high quality that if you were somebody who didn't like Abercrombie and Fitch, you actually might like these. And if you like the old Abercrombie and Fitch style scents, you actually might really fall in love with these because they seem like a higher quality version of some of those style sense the pros super unique very high quality like i was saying before it smells a little bit similar to other things that you smelled before but it's also got its unique vibe i think it's the cypress i really like cypress and cypress was used by abercrombie and fitch back in the day in their abercrombie and fitch yellow which i really like the cypress in that fragrance both these fragrances feature cypress so maybe that's what's giving it the unique vibe but also the abercrombie similarity to me this just smells like a fresh and clean style scent. I would say almost with both of these, you could be someone who doesn't really like cologne, not really for you, but you spray this up. It just smells good. You could wear it. Anybody could wear it. This one smells more fresh and clean, kind of a little bit more out of the shower versus the other one. The cons is that the price, I think it's about $50 for the one ounce, which is a little bit expensive online. Maybe it's a little bit more. This is always been a little bit more expensive, but you can tell with the quality that it really kind of deserves the high price because you're not going to smell anything with this high quality at like Ulta or Sephora. So let's jump into the cons. Pretty expensive. It's not a super beast projector, but it's also not bad. I would say it's above average, so it's hard for me to put that in a con, but it isn't super beast mode. Besides that, it's hard for me to find any other cons with this fragrance. I would give it between an eight to an 8.5 for the smell. The same thing for likability, eight to 8.5. And longevity and projection, I would give a seven to a 7.5. It's definitely not bad. It's definitely above average. Not beast mode, but really not bad. When Fragrances kind of get bad. I start putting them about 6.5, and if they're really bad, I'll give them like a six. This one's very solid. I would say you probably get 90 minutes, maybe up to two hours projection, and it'll probably last on skin probably up to 10 hours. That seems about where this one maxes out good enough for me, especially when it's a fresh, clean scent. So that one is Green Lavender. Let's jump into number two. This one's actually one of my favorites, if it's not my absolute favorite by them. All these really have this unique, likable vibe that almost anybody could wear. It is the art of shaving, so it's kind of got this fresh, luxurious shower style vibe to all of them. I've smelled a lot of fragrances and nothing really has this kind of smell with this kind of quality backed up with it. So one of my favorites, let's jump into the notes, sandalwood and cypress, not a surprise. Guyac wood, cedar, cardamom, bergamot. It's a little hard to describe. I was looking up online. People mentioned this buttery style vibe online and I almost have to like agree with that. It's really hard to describe. It's very smooth, very fresh, but it also has a little bit of thickness in there. And I feel like 
because it has a little bit of thickness and a little bit of freshness. The fall and the spring is absolutely perfect for this fragrance. If it was too hot, it might be too much for this fragrance. And I wouldn't say it's the best for the cold because it's not super thick. It's just a little bit of thickness, a little bit of freshness. You could wear it really all the time. So let's jump into the pros. It's unique and near niche quality. Same with the other one. I would say this one is even more unique than Green Lavender. Green Lavender is very unique because it has lavender. It has a lot of stuff you smell before, but it's surprisingly likable. This one I would say is a little more unique, a little further away from things that I've smelled before, but that makes me like it even more, to be honest with you guys. Anybody could wear this. I would say that you might be able to wear this a little bit more often. You could probably stand the heat a little bit better and it just smells like something you'd spray out of the shower at any time that you're coming out of the shower just to smell fresh. So this one's kind of a little bit more all year round. This one's a little more specific. Still, I feel like anybody could wear this at almost any time. So the cons is the price and it's not beast mode the same as before. These are pretty expensive. They knock off saying $50 for one ounce or around that, maybe even more. This one probably projects just a hair more than the other one here. These aren't weak by any means and these aren't like the strongest thing I've ever smelled. These are firmly above average and I appreciate that. I don't really feel like I have to give you a warning for how little they will last. I feel like almost everybody will be at least satisfied with how long they last. Not be put in a situation where you're not going to be smelling it for very long or you're just going to be having a problem with the projection. I don't really have that. Very similar, but they are kind of different at the same time. They have cypress, they're fresh, but they're also different and they're niche quality. I definitely recommend checking them out. If I were to give Sandalwood and Cypress a rating, I'd probably give it a firm 8.5 for the smell because this one I actually do like a hair more than this and I gave this 8 to an 8.5. I'd probably give this a firm 8.5 because I do like it more. And then likability, I'd give this an 8 to an 8.5 just because I think it's likable. I think everyone could pull it off, but it hasn't given me the compliments yet. So I don't want to give it a firm 8.5 to a 9 just yet. And then the longevity and projection, I'm going to give it about a 7.5. I would say that the Sandalwood and Cypress projects just a hair longer than this one, but then the performance isn't really a negative for me. Maybe it is for you, but I just don't feel like it's really something that's going to be weighing down these fragrances very much. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the art of shaving. Have you tried either one of these? These ones are a little bit expensive and at the same time, a little less known. Every time I've smelled these throughout the years, I've been impressed. Every time that I forgot about it and not wore it for like six months, I always feel kind of dumb. The scent style is a little bit designery, but the quality is niche. And like I said, I haven't smelled anything that smells similar to these quality wise. These probably will make lists if they qualify. Let me know what you think of the art of shaving. Let me know what review I should do next one. The road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.